Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about the test scenarios which we can write for import functionality. Normally, this import functionality will be available in most of the e-commerce application, web-based application, even in the mobile-based application also, we can see this import functionality. First of all, we'll try to understand what is all about a import functionality before we go and derive the test scenarios. The main purpose of this import functionality is the data is currently available in the text format and CSV format where we wanted to import in a bulk way. If you talk about a bank application, in bank application normally every month they import the salary data. Every month at the end of the every month the companies will send an excel sheet or csv file where they will import the salary of that month into the bank applications by using this import functionality that import the huge set of data into an application or into the database then now we'll try to understand what are the various scenarios which we can write for this import functionality. First thing is we have to ensure that we have to validate all the buttons which is available here. It could be choose file, cancel or next and this close window. All these buttons works as expected. If some of these buttons are not working, then you should lock the defects immediately. That is the first verification you should make it. And the second uh, verification you should make here is when we click on the choose file button, whenever we click on this choose file button, we should get a new window. It will open up a new window where it will ask the file name, where we can pick up the particular file and we can import into the this application or to the database. Then the next type of test case here is once we are able to get that file window where we can select a file what we should do here is we should import a invalid file first we should not import a valid file invalid file means maybe certain format is not correct it is completely an empty file or it is that file is not at all following any guidelines which is stipulated in the import functionality that time we should throw an error messages. In the next verification is we are trying to import just an empty file. That time also import should fail and should throw error message. There is no record found in that CSS file or a text file. The next valid scenario which we can verify here is where we will be importing a write file which is having maybe 10 records, 100 records, 1 million records, any kind of records from a given valid file. When we provide that file, when you click on next, then it should import the data from the file system into the application database. That is when we will say the import functionality is successful. You should also validate once the file records which is available in the CST file or text file, when we try to import using this functionality, we should also go and check into the backend database. We have to go and check in the backend to see whether whatever the data is getting pumped from the CSV file or a text file, whether it is really moved into the database where all records, whatever we have imported, maybe 10 records, 20 records, 1 million records, every record should be intact and there is no changes or there is no impact on the data which is imported into the database. That verification also you should make. So next scenario is we have to verify the log generations while importing the file. By seeing the log, by tiling the log, we should be able to see while performing the import functionality, especially when we are trying to import millions of record, we should also see which area, which function or which area, which particular record this import functionality is really broken. This import functionality can be available in the bank application or it could be e-commerce application wherever wherever we wanted to import the bulk records from the file system into the database then we will have to call this import functionality to ensure that there is a complete integrity in the data while importing the file. I am hoping you guys got a clear idea what is all about import functionality. If you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.